to be your girlfriend, too young to be your mother. Easily identifiable by its strong markings and orange skin, the cougar is mostly seen in the wild, patrolling its territory with an unsteady gait. Often aggressive to younger cubs, the cougar is known predominantly for its curious diet, starving itself on sparse vegetation during the day, then hunting large slabs of meat at night. Here we see a herd of young males nervously gathering at a watering hole. The cougar waits on the edges for one of the males to foolishly separate itself from the protection of the herd. Once isolated, the young male is vulnerable and often paralyzed by the cougar's sudden approach, which causes the rest of the herd to scatter in panic. The young male now has little chance of escaping the cougar's powerful claws and valiantly pretends to be gay to water off. But this cougar has not tasted meat for days and is in no mood to be so easily discouraged. And eventually the young male is dragged off to the cougar's inner city apartment, where it will be cruelly made to listen to Enya or possibly the Arrhythmics. Cougar numbers have grown considerably over the last 10 years due to culling of the cougar's natural enemy, the long-term relationship. Many areas are now overrun with cougars, which has had such a devastating effect on the young male herds that authorities have taken to introducing a genetically modified young male called the pee addict to control cougar numbers. The pee addict is a parasite that latches onto the cougar's bank account and slowly drains it so the cougar has no ability to buy the shoes and gold jewelry it relies upon to catch its prey. The cougar is then forced to work longer hours in marketing or human resource consulting and is unable to spend nights harassing the young male herds. Thanks to the pea parasites, the numbers of young males are slowly returning to their 1990 levels. But some experts worry they may be too effective and are suggesting there may be a future need to build more cougar sanctuaries like this one to make sure the species doesn't die out altogether.